Snickers made over $380 million last year, and most of those sales came from impulse buys at the grocery store checkout aisle. And on the same note, Sam Card sellers made an extra $151 million using this exact same technique. There's a lot of checkout strategies we can learn from your local grocery store, and today we're going to give you the most lucrative strategy we have, order bumps. In this video, we're going to cover what is an order bump, how to build order bumps, and our best strategies we use at Sam Card to boost profits day in and day out. Let's dive in. So here we have an order bump on screen. This is a Sam Card Express page. The fancy phrase for an order bump is a pre-purchase upsell. Order bumps are complimentary products that you show your customers right before they purchase. So I'm here on the Sam Card page. I have my main product here, and then I have my order bumps down below. I can click add on. I can add as many order bumps as I want. I can take some off. I can customize my order. And as I add this, my total goes up. And again, this is how we increase average order value. Here's another example. We're using this here on our Sam Cart pricing page. So if you want to start a free trial of Sam Cart, go to samcart.com slash pricing. You click start a free trial. You fill out your information. And right there, we have an order bump for dedicated live support. You can add that to your order. We even have it as a paid trial here. So you can, you won't be charged just now. The first seven days are free. So this kind of just shows you the beauty of, of order bumps. You can use multiple different products. If you're selling a physical product, your order bump can be a digital product or vice versa. If you're selling a course, your order bumps can be digital downloads, physical products, services, whatever you may want them to be. So if you only have one product and you're not using order bumps, I highly recommend that you add at least one order bump to your main product, if not two. Adding just one order bump to your checkout increases average order value, that's the amount your customer spends with you during one transaction, by 31%. And that number grows when you add your second or third order bump. In other words, if you're currently selling a $50 product, adding a single order bump would move your new average to sit around $65 per customer. Not bad. Your best customers want to buy more from you. And order bumps make that simple. So think of order bumps as your side dish or an a la carte or add-on items. If you're struggling right now to think of what else could I offer alongside my main product, here are some ideas that we've seen. You could offer a one-off strategy call. You could offer your second online course, cheat sheets, guides, templates, PDFs, access to your insider community. Say you're selling an ebook or a physical book, you could offer more of the same. You could say, yeah, if you're buying the physical book, you could offer the ebook or the audio book. Coaching programs, priority support, extended warranty, bundle offers, and accessories to your main product. So say you're selling a grill, the order bump would be the grilling tools. Now that we have a good sense and maybe some ideas on what we could use for an order bump, let's go into the Sam Card dashboard and let's build our first order bump. So I'm here at the Sam Card homepage. I'm gonna go up to products. I'm gonna find my main product that we're gonna work on. Today, we're gonna build a Notion CRM template. So I'm gonna click on product and then I'm gonna go up to the offers tab here and I'm gonna scroll down here to the order bump section. Now, the two products I want to add as order bumps are going to be a creator playbook and Notion Second Brain. So I have my list of all my products here. They're all sorted alphabetically, but if I wanted to quickly find something, I could just type in creator, do a little control find, and there's my Notion creator playbook. And then I also want to find Second Brain, Notion Second Brain, add it. So I see on the right side my two order bumps that are currently on my product. And then I'm gonna scroll down to choose a layout. If you have multiple order bumps, you have options up here. So I have horizontal, vertical, horizontal compact, or grid style. So if I'm offering say like six or nine order bumps. And if I was just offering one product, I would have access here to the slide in option or the footer option. Now the next part is I'm gonna to go to the order bump design. Now if your design, we try to keep this as simple as possible. So we've offered some design templates. You can do the default one, modern, marketer. You have a ton of different color palettes that you can choose from. I tend to go with simple. And if you just want to go even simpler than the simple one, you can just change everything to black and white. No problem. You can choose which one you want to have color and which one should not have color. Container border, left alignment. You can even customize it. You know, what would the button say? Yes, I want this. There we go. Now we go down to product details. This is where we build our headline. This is where we build our product image, description, and our strike through price. The headline is default, the name of the product, Notion Creator Playbook. We have our price here, $39. I'm gonna go to a product image and do upload. You can upload your image or choose from your image gallery of past things that you've done, this one. And then I'm gonna say fit. 
And for your description here, since it's an order bump and since it's pre-purchase, you don't have a lot of room to really educate your customers on what this product is. So think of your description section as a 50 to 200 character tweet. If you had one tweet to describe this product, what would you say? So the Notion Creator Playbook is the, the ultimate guide for Notion creators who want to grow their business. Something as simple as that, you can change the format, you can add images, you can add sales bullets if you wanted to. And then I'll go down to the strike through price. This one, I'm gonna leave off, but you could add a strike through price and say, this price was originally $100, and now you can get it today for $39. So I'm gonna leave this one off, and I'm gonna go to my second product, Notion Second Brain. Again, we got Second Brain, we got our product images, so I'm gonna upload an image, scroll down to my category, let's see. I'm gonna choose an image, let's choose, let's choose this image. Use this media. I'm going to say fit. I'll write another description for Second Brain. The Notion database template for storing, sharing, and maximizing your productivity. Do a little spell check. There we go. Now for this one, I do want to do a strike through product because this one is originally $200 and today in this order bump, I'm going to offer it for $99. So I'm going to say $200 up here and a clever headline trick you can do here is in the second brain just to kind of really enhance and really emphasize like this is a discount. I'm going to say here 50% off. Just so that people get a real good sense of like, hey, this is a great deal. And that's it. I'm going to go up here and hit save changes. Let's go to our Checkout Anywhere tab here. Let's go to Express. Let's copy this Checkout URL. And there we go. We've got our main product here on the top left. We have the current amount due, $29. And we have our Notion Creator Playbook. We can view details, the ultimate guide. We can say Add to Order. And then Notion Second Brain, 50% off. Again, we've got the strike through price here. I can view details. I can click away. I can add this. And now I've taken my order from $29 at first to over $167, which is the true power of an order bump. Average order value can just go through the roof when you have order bumps. You're letting your customers spend as much as possible. Not every customer is going to say yes to your order bumps, and that's okay. If they don't add order bumps and they still buy your product, great. But for the customers that do add order bumps, the customers that are dedicated to you, the customers that find what you're selling very valuable and love what you do and want to say, I'm going to give you some support. I want to buy this product, I love what you sell, that's gonna change the game for your business. And then they check out, pay $167, and that is how we build an order bump. Just to recap, we've covered what is an order bump, how to build an order bump, and now we're gonna get into some common strategies that we use here at SamCart and our SamCart sellers to boost profits day in and day out. So the first question we have, what is the best price for an order bump? Obviously, cheaper products compared to your main product makes logical sense. You know, the, the French fries aren't as expensive as the hamburger. And you'd mostly be right, except for the first order bump. The SamCart database proves that if you want to maximize your revenue, your first order bump should basically match the same price as your main product. For example, if you're selling a course for $100, but you also have another course that's just as valuable, make that second course, price it at $100 as well. Question number two, what about order bumps that are two to five times more expensive than your main product. Typically, you won't find a ton of success with this as your customers will need much more information about your product in order to convert. I would place those much more expensive items in your upsell funnel, which is a totally different video. We'll link it down below. Question number three, how many order bumps is too many? Fair question. On SamCart, you can add as many order bumps as you want. So what is the sweet spot? On average, we find that two to three order bumps is the sweet spot. But ourselves and even VIPs like King Ashley N have offered six to 10 order bumps. Now, granted, these were $1 order bumps, so it kind of created this got to catch them all moment. The most we've seen from one Sam Cart seller was 17 order bumps. And after looking at the data, no one really bought order bumps five through seven. But that's the fun part about order bumps. You can customize it however you'd like, but I definitely recommend having at least two order bumps. Question number four, what about copywriting? We talked a little bit about the limitations of order bumps and kind of how, you know, how we can work within those limitations. Again, you only have one to two sentences to explain your offer. In the order bump description, you can list out as much as you want. You can have multiple paragraphs, but again, I recommend that 50 to 200 character. Think like a 
a medium sized tweet explaining what your product is about. The title should be clear. The title should also include if it has any discounts. So again, add in those parentheses, 50% off, 10% off. So we covered everything. That is the, I'm gonna call this the order bumps mini masterclass. We've talked about what is an order bump, how to build an order bump, pricing and copywriting strategies for your order bumps. And if you're watching this right now and you're on Samcar launch plan, you don't have access just yet to order bumps, by moving up to grow or moving up to the scale plan, order bumps are going to pay for themselves. One in four of your customers are going to say yes to your order bumps, they're going to increase their average order value, they're going to be spending more with you. So by adding these order bumps into your checkout OS, it's going to pay for itself month over month. And also you're going to get access to things like stored credit card, one click Apple Pay, auto discounting, upsells, downsells, product upgrades, card abandonments, subscription savers, and everything else that makes Samcart the number one checkout operating system. So head over to samcart.com, start your free trial, test out your best-selling product against your current checkout setup, and see the difference of having the right tools made. I'm J-Dog, Audi 5000.